here and welcome to The Simple Life. I have something really exciting to share with you. I'm gonna teach you how to clean out your dishwasher. Yay! <laughs> but first, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead, do it. And give this video a big ol' Have you ever cleaned out your dishwasher? Probably not. I did it the other day and I found some really, really disturbing things in there. But I thought my dishwasher was supposed to be a sterile environment. Uh, wrong. I found mold, I found some scum, and I found some really ancient slime. Yeah. So I did some trial and error on the best ways to clean out your dishwasher. Let me teach you how. First things first. Remove the guts out of the dishwasher. Pull out that bottom drawer, pull out that top drawer. There's two little pinchies that lock in that top drawer, so go ahead and locate them, remove them, slide that baby on out. Look down to the bottom of your dishwasher. There is a spinner. It's pretty easy. Um, go to the base of the spinner and turn it, and it'll click right out. Then look up. There's another spinner. Same thing. Look down. There's a screen and a filter. Pull that screen out, easy peasy, flip it over. Then the filter. It says on the filter, press and turn. You guessed it, press and turn. Throw those filters and things into the sink for a later time. Step dos. Grab a rag and wipe out all of the chunks, the bulk of the crud. As much as you can wipe out, wipe out. Grab that comet. Grab that scrubby sponge and get you some good old fashioned elbow grease. Give that dishwasher a scrubby dub dub, scrubby dub dub. Scrub all of the mold and the mildew and do not forget the seals around the dishwasher because those get kind of scummy. It's time, it's time to do the dirty work. Next, go to the sink and show some love to that filter and the screen. Clean them out, wipe them out, whatever you can do to get the nastiness off of them. Run your dishwasher on a quick cycle. That way you can get rid of all the comment and you don't have to spend all day wiping out comment because ain't nobody got time for that. I don't got time for that. Do you got time for that? Guess what guys? We're done. Woo! We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. Now it's time to talk maintenance. Once a month, do the whole thing over again. What? Again? But that's too much work. Mm -mm. It's not that much work because you've already done the hard part. Now all you have to do is maintain it. So pull the guts out, wipe it down with vinegar. You don't need Comet or the heavy duty stuff. Vinegar is going to do the trick. Vinegar is amazing. It'll disinfect, it'll cut some of the grease. Thank you, vinegar. You're welcome, honey. Pull out that screen, pull out that filter, wash them, reassemble, you're good to go. Two tips that I'm going to give for you to help keep the mold, the bacteria down to a minimum. Always keep your dishwasher cracked. I know, I know, it goes against everything you were ever taught as a child. That's going to keep the humidity levels down low and bacteria really can't survive as much in a dry environment. The second tip I have, after you unload your dishwasher, spray the interior down with vinegar. Again, going to help keep down that bacteria level. Also, actually this is the third tip. I never put dishes in the dishwasher that have food on them. Because honestly, whose dishwasher is that powerful? Plus, that screen that you found at the bottom of the dishwasher is going to catch all of that food. And if you don't clean that screen, that food's just going to sit there and rot and stink. So guys, that's it. Thanks for watching this video, guys. You know I love you. I love you. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! I found mold, mildew, scum, and ancient slime. You don't want that in your food. Not me, not you. <laughs>